Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Mike and Connor with SkylanderNuts.com. We're here today to do another Skylanders Trap Team Villain Review. Now today, we're going to start focusing on the Doom Raiders. So we got Superchargers coming out in just a few weeks now. And we're not going to get through all the villain reviews. And, you know, the most interesting villains are the Doom Raiders. So we're going to just skip straight to those guys and get everybody with three attacks done. Does that sound like a good idea, Connor? Yep. All right. Today we're going to start that with Dreamcatcher. All right. Now she escaped Cloudcracker Prison, but that wasn't the only prison she escaped from. She also escaped from the Lucid Lockdown within the Realm of Dreams. And then she escaped the Realm of Dreams itself because, you know, she's out and about now, huh? And uh, she was recruited by the Golden Queen based on her psychic abilities and her mischievous nature so miss golden queen has knows how to pick them i think are you ready buddy mm -hmm. all right we're going to get into level 11 the willikin workshop and that is where we'll find the dream catcher's quest now right here where we are we are right this is the second train that you have to navigate through and over there you see chaos he wants us to go inside that uh, cave over there, but before you do that while you're on this side of the tracks There are a couple of houses over here and the one on the right there is the one that holds the dream catchers quest So Connor's gonna take that spin in there, and we're gonna listen to uh, Her quest well, it's not this one. It's this one. That's right the one on the right Talk to this Willikin guy Rochester Let's do it right yep Hi there! I have been trying to sleep for a long time, but not able to do it. No sleep is no fun! Maybe Dreamcatcher come and make me fall asleep? Could be special fun? Alright, we got Dreamcatcher here in the trap, so let's load her up. Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher! Tell me I'm not dreaming! Hello, Dreamcatcher. Maybe you can help me with sleep? I go to sleep now and make dreams. Follow me into Weird Dream Portal if you want. Weird is fun! Alright, I guess we can go in the portal. So, it's not really a challenge, but... She is now evolved, so her hair has changed to red, and she looks like she has a big yellow bow now with blue stars instead of being a pink polka dot. And I, I'm not sure if there was a legendary treasure in here or not, but there is a little bit of treasure you can collect if you want. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I can't remember if there was anything else the first time we maybe did this, but... Now switch back to Batspin and let's go find some enemies. Yep, switch back to Batspin. Dreamcatcher looks like her ability, her uh, her time was moving, going down pretty quick. So now, unfortunately, Batspin has these bats that will kill any enemies. So why don't you go inside? Go inside with Chaos there. Go across the train. And then once you get inside, maybe switch back to Dreamcatcher before those bats do any damage. If there's any, if can. Uh, there usually is something pretty fast. Looks like you have to jump through some conveyor belt puzzles first. Too bad the bats don't grab coins for you. Alright, here we go. Switch. Alright, now Dreamcatcher's got some attacks. Let's do the X button attack. That's a tornado <laughs> attack. There it's a quick shot, I guess. It's kind of tornado. Those, uh, when those guys are spinning, even her tornado doesn't damage them. Look at that. 
Oh, the dream catcher's taking some damage. All right, try the B button attack, buddy. There you go. Picked up an enemy. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Got him. While he's spinning, is it gonna work? Oh no, it didn't. And Dreamcatcher is out. So, even evolved. Well, Batspin will take out this guy. You don't even have to do anything. There, bats. Boom, gone. Wow. So Dreamcatcher may be one of the quickest. <laughs> Quickest, uh, has quickest to use active bars or whatever. Look, it's going up pretty fast too, but it sure went down fast. So you don't get a lot of time, it looks like, with the Dreamcatcher. Even go evolved. find some more. Yeah, go find some more enemies. Um, you have one guy there, but that's not worth it. Keep going. Let your bats take care of him. Go down. Yep, dream catchers. Doesn't last long, but also doesn't take long to uh, use. You can switch back if you want. Tell me Try the Y button attack. The Y button attack is called a dream quake. There we go, I damaged him. I killed him. How much damage did he do? 110, does he get stuck in it? I think he does, go away. Run away from him. Will it do anything when he goes away or just hold him there? Just hold Let's white, do white that button. Again. Yeah. It's kind of a ground, a ground Boom. pound, but there you go. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does hold them still for a little while. No, 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 no! Ooh, that was close. Switch offer. So, which one of those attacks did you like the most? Well, the most likeful attack I liked was Dream Quake. And if okay. you get the tornado attack, like in your hands, good. So you should probably use that tornado attack. The tornado attack wasn't bad, but you had to aim right on the guy. Keep going, see if you can find some more enemies. Um, the second attack you did, the summon the dream device that attacks enemies, a B button attack, that actually did a pretty good job. Can it I was switch very powerful. Back for that thing? Yeah, switch back. So what do you want me to do? Try the B button one again. The only problem with it with these guys is they have to not be spinning anymore. And apparently there we go, it attached, but it can't rip its head off until he stops spinning. But then it does some pretty major damage. So I kinda Ooh. like that attack myself. Especially if it'll seek out the enemy. Only switch back with no enemies. Alright. That's an easy. Okay, no enemies up here. Either. Is there anybody over there next to the uh Crystal. Oh yeah. Sometimes there are enemies over there, and sometimes they're not. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, that might be the majority of enemies there for a while. Well, no. There's an enemy gate over there. Go cross that bridge and try one more time. Okay, there we go. Any attack? Uh, X button. See if you can go through multiple guys at once. Sweet. See? You gotta aim it right. There, it there it did. It is a pretty powerful attack, except for those spinning guys can defeat it pretty well. Do your B button on him. I that guy, that he doesn't have any defense, so that's pretty cool. There, it's got it. Oh, but it's spinning, so we'll get it done. Ground pound him. Why? 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 Oh, too late. Oh. Well, and now I'm get her out of this form. There. No, your bats will do the job. Just walk by them. See? All right. Well, I think that about. I think that about will do it for the dream catcher. Mm -hmm. Um. She's a little bit hard to work with, it seems like. She also yeah. don't, you just don't get enough time with her. Not that bad though. That I like the B button attack because it'll rip the head off of whatever it attaches to. It does some pretty major damage, but um, otherwise that her typical sheep filled dream tornado did a pretty yeah. good job. That was the one you liked, right? The X button? And the B, but 
The most important part is maybe you should try on a different level and level and see if the same thing happens here, like on a different level. Well, yeah, there are definitely some enemies that are probably easier to deal with with different attacks. So spinning guys, um, probably the ground pound would be a good one for that. Probably the uh, the dream quake ground pound would not only maybe damage the enemy, but it would keep it centered and kind of attracted the enemy to the center of that dream quake, right? So then you can like shoot tornadoes yes, or like you use a shoot. thing so it doesn't get away. Yep, you could shoot tornadoes at it, it would be still kind of, and mm -hmm. you might be able to hit it better. So, but most enemies, I think, um, you know, if you had a lot of them around you, that tornado would take out the ones in front wherever you're aiming. Not, not too bad. Uh, good damage on the tornado attack. A little bit weak on the dream quake, but it also holds them still, so that's understandable. Uh, not a bad character, but since your active time goes by so fast, you just might want to use somebody else that you can use for a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that's it for the dream catcher. Visit us at our website at skylanderduts.com, and you can read her full review and see her score. Uh, you see how she compares to our other villains we've reviewed and other uh, Doom Raiders. And we'll be back again soon with another villain review. Until then, have fun playing Trap Team and get ready for Superchargers. Yeah. And bye.